Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity and we're here to do an experiment to see how paint performs with electromagnetic radiation, most specifically cell phones and Wi-Fi and cell phone towers. So we have a Wi-Fi unit in front of us in the distance, it's that white box and that's going to be our transmitter of Wi-Fi radiation, which is microwave radiation. In the foreground we have this meter, it's actually recording what's coming out of that box and currently we've got 1,350 millivolts per meter right now. And we're going to start off with a piece of shielding material which is very effective and that is aluminum mesh. And this is the aluminum mesh. Let's put it in front and see what happens. So our device is now shielded with aluminum mesh and we can see the effects of that shielding. So aluminum mesh is very effective and it's halved, more than halved our signal. So I painted up some cards and these are just standard household paints and there's three layers of paint on each card. And we're going to start off by putting all of the cards in front of the Wi-Fi unit as paint does actually shield as well as the cardboard and we can very clearly see that effect taking place. So when you have a lot of layers of it, it does actually work. Not as good as the aluminum mesh, but it certainly does attenuate the signal. So we're going to start off with our first paint and this is a Sherwin-Williams A100 Exterior Flat latex paint in deep base. Okay, our unit is now shielded. Um, we'll just give it a few seconds to settle down and then we'll move on to our next paint. So you can see that the shielding from paint and cardboard when it's in a very small thin layer is very slight. Um, we do actually see a little bit of shielding taking place. So our next paint is Burr Masonry Stucco and Brick Flat White Paint, number 270. I should mention, the reason why I'm doing this is uh, I've seen a lot of people talk about this on the internet and uh, they say which is the best paint for shielding, the best household paint. And the answer is that there isn't really a good household paint that is made specifically that does shielding from what I can tell. So our next paint is going to be Burr Premium Plus Interior Satin Enamel. Okay. So you're going to do electromagnetic shielding. You specifically want to do electromagnetic shielding. You want to be buying the carbon based paints. And you can also get copper based paints. But I have to warn you that they're very, very expensive. So our next paint is going to be Burr Premium Plus Exterior Flat Pastel Base. So, a little bit of shielding, not too much. So our next paint is Kills to latex. So my conclusion with these paints is that if you really want to try and do electromagnetic shielding with conventional paints, that you need to have a very thick paint. So the next paint that we're going to do is Burr Premium Plus Satin Enamel Exterior and the pastel base. And this is our final paint. So we've gone through six paints and all six paints all had very different ingredients in them. And uh, none of those ingredients appears to be effective at electromagnetic shielding. So my conclusion is that standard household paints do not 
shield against electromagnetic radiation very well. If you want to do shielding, you should be buying the very specific shielding paints for that purpose. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.